What's up, everybody? It's me, Colin, and I know it's been a while, so my humble apologies. So, coming to you from Ansbach, Germany, drinking a little German beer. See, even got the name on it as Hell. I'm drinking Hell. But in Germany, it means like a lighter beer. <laughs> but it's Hell. Um, I've been gone a while, and uh, just give everybody an update, just to let you know I haven't disappeared or fallen off the face of the earth. Um, I was in the Philippines recently and only showed one video, so I apologize for that. Been a few little issues going on, you know, so just give everybody a little update. Not nothing with me, my wife, and the children. It's just, well, if you ever been in the Philippines, drama, family drama. That's That's been just an ongoing issue, you know, takes a lot of time away from more important things because you're dealing with grown folks that are acting like children, and I kind of don't like that, but hoping it wasn't going to happen. But it's been kind of crazy for me and my wife lately, you know, and it's the usual suspects when you're talking about family drama, you know, jealousy, envy, and a whole bunch of mix of a lot of stuff, but we are just trying to stay the course, so, and not get, well, can't help but get involved because it really impacts us. So we're just trying to deal with that and not let it spoil your happiness because people will try to spoil or steal or even hijack your happiness when they see you happy because they got unhappy lives. That's the only way I see. You know, for me, I'm a very positive person. That's how I've always been. I don't go around just starting shit just to start shit, but that's kind of seen the way things have been going. I was hoping it was not going to be our case going to the Philippines, but I guess it has, a little bit of it has to be expected that that ugly thing was going to rear its ugly head and, and yeah, we got it. So, so, you know, me and my wife are trying to delicately walk through it. But, you know, me, I don't, I don't have time for drama. I definitely don't have time for playing games with with grown folks or folks who think they're grown. And that's basically what happened. You know, folks talk event, folks take advantage of our kindness. You know, my wife gives. She is such a sweet, generous person. People use and abuse that same way with me. And I had to finally step in because I got the feeling she was being ignored, that our uh, concerns were just being ignored because somebody else's concerns overruled that, well, I had had enough of it because it's my house, I'm building it. And, and nobody ain't going to tell me how to run my house. So I had to step in and let them know, hold up. Just because I'm quiet and I'm nice, don't mistake that for thinking I'm a wimp or something or that I'm scared of somebody. No. That gave, And, you know, being nice to people and being quiet and not being confrontation all the time, folks get a... That gives somebody sometimes a false sense that they dominate you. Well, I I guess they know, don't make that mistake with me because I just kind of want to gently let everybody know I rule my life. Just like my channel says, it's my life. Not, not my life as you want it to be. It's my life and my travels and my adventures. It's all mine. Like I was telling my son, the only person that overrules me is my wife, 
his mother. That's it. Nobody else does. My, my first obligation is always to her. I'll give her anything she wants. Nobody else rules me except that little lady. And I love her dearly. And I don't like it when she's sad. So, so it's just, so it's just like we're trying to make it through all that BS there. And it kind of took away my excitement making videos about the Philippines. And I know that's wrong because we had a wonderful time. I got two of the loveliest granddaughters. Oh my God. So I got to make those videos to show folks that. And I can't wait to get there to see them which that's going to be another adventure. But I'm going to get into making some movies and sending some things there. But just kind of let you guys know that <clears throat> we're good. Me and my wife, we love each other. We're just trying to deal with the, with the kind of like never-ending drama, you know. That's why I say, about the best advice I can give foreigners who consider moving to the Philippines and near their family. Make sure your wife and you are one with everything. Because that family can split you apart. And that's happened to a lot of people. Make sure you and her are of one mind, one soul. Because it is, it is your future. And people would love to destroy that future because their lives, because they really didn't do what they needed, needed to do as they were growing up to make their life so exciting and wonderful like that. And, you know, and yes, I believe there are some people just, just want to destroy our happiness. They want to steal your happiness. And they come up with all kind of lies and stuff about how bad you are. You know, I'm just kind of talking and I don't want to get too personal. But to me, I don't see the sense of hiding this. You know, I have nothing to be ashamed about, guilty about. Like I tell people, I can walk out, I can walk out into the daylight. I have nothing to hide. Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm so happy with my life. Feel so blessed. It's just things are going so so great now. But it's kind of shame instead of pe people celebrating with you your good fortune. They're like, mm. <clears throat> someone made the comment to my wife about that house that we just finished building earlier this year. Still got a little. Some things to do outside, you know, fixing the ground. <clears throat> but it's a shame the comment was made to her. It it takes a lot of time and effort and money to build a house. You can't do it real quick. It, it took us a couple of years to do that, you know. But the comment was made to her that you will die before you get your stairs built. And she built the stairs that kind of wind up like an S and go it kind of curves back. It does go like an S and it curves back to a landing up on the second floor. That's terrible, right? That you would make someone a, make, make a comment to someone like that, that you would die before these stairs get built. You could tell that person wasn't for us, rooting for us, because it cost an incredibly lot of money. And I, myself, and my wife as well, she put everything she had into it. And so did I, and we finally got it done. And it's becoming a challenge because we're not there, and that's the problem. So, you know, we're finna remedy that situation too, to be there to take care of our house and take control of everything so we can get rid of this you know, the drama is always going to be there. Life is just like that, you know. But I tell my wife, you know, don't be going around chasing that, 
chasing all that hearsay stuff that people want to say, you know, answer to the important things. Because those are little small minds that are always going to be jealous, you know, and, I, and, and, and it doesn't matter what we try to do. It's just with some people, it will never be good enough because they don't have a happy home life. That's basically what it that's basically what it comes down to. They watch us and our and our kids and grandkids just having fabulous time together, doing barbecues and just making up stuff, laughing. You don't believe how many people hate that. That's terrible. <laughs> you, you know, we have great kids. And there's a lot of great folks in the Philippines, you know. She got a lot of great family members. She got some of the sweetest, kindest nieces and nephews you ever want to meet, you know. But, you know, it only takes a couple <clears throat> bad apples to, to try to spoil and all that. And so, enough of that. I'm going to do a video, first one to be coming out here in a while, uh, our first wedding anniversary that happened in February. So I'm going to try to catch up real quick to the present for everybody. And for those who didn't leave me, thank you. Salamat. Duncan Shern, I thank you very much for your patience and kindness. And uh, I'm going to get busy just making some moves. So, here we go. I'm just sitting in my apartment in uh, Ansbach, Germany, drinking hell and um, looking at these screens I have here. My lovely bride is in the Philippines right now. So, I think that's enough about family drama stuff. Let's get back to the fun stuff. Check it all out. Stay with me. Stay with me. Love y'all. Peace out.